classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevator? Who got that's big giant with the TV la? <laughs> Give me like, is there a uh, crime going on out there? Like right, being a drunk guy, extra thing you hit all the extra sound effects. Like, being a drunk sound deep. Yeah, I'll sound bar sound good. Watch it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, no, Kevin. Wanna, now we have the opportunity to present he our wanna, Jordan. No, he want a he want a fried dill pickle. That's what he want. She's like that shit stank up the house. Don't nobody want that shit. And just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. Seeing Freak dominate the way he did tonight reminded me of watching him play in high school. He was a man among boys. He was a four-time consensus All-American back then. Overall, great game. Just an unreal performance for him in so many I hate many that ways. like that, that shit. That was a player at the absolute, I mean, absolute top of his game. It's hard to that imagine someone fun. being any more dominant than he was tonight. And that'll do it for this edition oh, of the NBA play, uh, on 2K Bright, Sports. Uh, br uh, Hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, right. Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports. So it's like it's it's like no different from. We be drinking things. That's the name of the bar. Any kind of more. That's a cheap liquor. Okay, okay. Why ain't in line? Can you put your phone on the charge? Yeah. I just hope I rain today.
Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game. Well, he showed us just how good he can be when he's at the top of his game. And the building was stunned. You saw people leaving early, throwing popcorn, throwing hot dogs, spilling soda. He put on a CSDP, a crowd shut down performance. Man, that's what I'm talking about, Ernie. I know Freak's going to have a lot of people back home in Harlem extremely proud of the way he played tonight. And they should be proud of him because his play was genius. Just a textbook example of how to gain a mental edge and continue to exploit it. control the game and, and just completely took the crowd boy, boy, out of play. it. That's how to get it done hey. on the road. <laughs> and now let's catch up with Doris Burke who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Tyreek. The 2K Sports post game show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He had an outstanding third quarter. Whatever they needed in terms of energy and offense, he was the firepower that propelled them during the second half. That was Freak turning up the volume right there, baby, all the way up to 11. And the stereo only goes to 10, Ernie, but we're at 11 right now. The man himself may be quiet, but his performance spoke very loudly. What a special night for him offensively. Anytime you can get a player who's going up in the 40s, you know he was feeling it. And once he got rolling, his teammates were getting him the ball and just getting out his way.
during that comeback was the clock, but they can finally stop worrying about time and start thinking about how to win this thing. Now. Let's catch up with Doris from the side. Steve Kerr was just going over the plan with his team. With the game hanging in the balance, he tried to give his players some added motivation, saying, quote, this is the time, guys, right now. Be in this moment. Do your job, and we'll get the win. Back to you. For New Orleans, they've gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. It's Evans on the wing. Williams dishes to Davis. And the layup falls. And the road back into this game wasn't a short one, but they've managed to make it all the way back and tie this thing up. And, Greg, I've got to admit to you, I mean, I did not think they were going to get all the way back. I thought they were done. But they've shown some serious resilience and character to battle this far back. Williams inside. He's covered by Iguodala. Williams kicks to a Jensen. Babbitt passes to Williams. Five to shoot. They set the pick. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. Williams has got 49 points in the game. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Sanders with a screen on Evans. And Thompson kicks to Iguodala. It's in! A tremendous three to tie it up. Iguodala has been fantastic. Clark, a critical possession right here. Boy, Kevin, you can just feel the crowd on pins and needles right now. Williams against Curry. And Williams, here we go. And it's Curry with the rebound. Thompson counted. They don't get any bigger than that basket. Yes, they yes. needed it, Greg, and he gave it to him. The Pelicans call time. It's our time. It's our time. We are so close to closing this one out. Freak, you're the hot hand. So let's get him the ball. Williams in the post. Curry meets him. Curry with the steal. Now the Warriors moving it up. And so they foul intentionally. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. For three, Williams nails it. And that shot brings them to within just one. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the foul called on Freak. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And give the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. And so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. Yeah, how about the nerves there? Those free throws put them in a very good position. Three points quick. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like <laughs> this and simply deflate an entire building. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris.
in for Norris Cole. for New Orleans. Luke Babbitt comes in for Drew Holiday. The Warriors also with a sub. Iguodala's checked in. And you can tell he's hungry because...